Hello everyone, in this presentation, we are going to see the specific uh, instructions for Cortex M4 processors. Reference book here is Definitive Guide on Cortex M3 and M4 processors. In this, we are referring to chapter 5, and then 5.7 talks much about Cortex M4 specific instructions, which includes enhanced DSP and extension in Cortex M4, and single instruction, multiple data, and saturation instructions. Multiply and multiply accumulating instructions, packing and packing and floating point instructions are there in 5.7. Compared to the Cortex M3 processor, Cortex M4 processor supports a number of additional instructions such as single instruction multiple data, which is SAMD, saturation instructions, additional multiply and accumulate instructions, packing and unpacking instructions, and adoption of floating point instructions. These instructions enable the Cortex M4. A general purpose processor to handle the real time digital signal processing tasks more efficiently. So, Cortex M4 is much more suitable for signal processing applications also because of the presence of Cortex M4 specific instructions, which is dedicated for DSP. Let us start with SAMD instructions. What is in the SAMD instructions? Single instruction, multiple data instructions. What do you understand from single instruction, multiple data instructions? And look at how SAMD data handled in Cortex M4 processor. Very often, data needed to process are 16 bit or 8 bit in size. For example, most audio is sampled with ADCs with a 16 bit resolution or less. And if we talk about image processing, the image pixels are often represented with multiple channels of 8 bit data, example, RGB cell space. So, mostly when you talk about image, it is an 8 bit data. Sometimes when you talk about uh, signal, the ADC's output may be 8 bit or sometimes 10 bit, sometimes 12 bit. The most case, it may be 16 bit data. So, data path inside the processor is 32 bit. We can utilize the data path to handle 2 16 bit data or 4 8 bit data. So, by efficiently utilizing the 32 bit data path in 2 16 bit data path or 4 8 bit data path, there is a possibility for us to perform single instruction multiple data operation. So we also need to consider that sometimes data are to be processed as signed values and some other times as unsigned values. That is also mandatory we need to concentrate. So with respect to 5.13, various possible SAMD data representations in 32 bit register is shown here when it is unsigned, unsigned byte, unsigned byte, unsigned byte, unsigned byte. Unsigned byte. So there are four unsigned byte possible for signed byte is possible if it is byte and uh, if it is half word unsigned half word and signed half word it's very interesting in most cases data inside the same d data sheet would be the same type this allows the simpler single instruction multiple data instructions at design in order to handle single instruction multiple data additional instructions have been added to the arm cortex m architecture and this is called as enhanced DSP extensions. Sometimes this is referred to as an ARM V7E-M extended enhanced DSP extensions. So there is a quite long list of SAMD and saturating instructions. Some of the saturation instructions are also support single instruction multiple data. Many of the SAMD instructions contain similar operations, but with different prefixes to tell if the instruction is intended for signed or unsigned data as shown in the table 5.49. So this is very interesting. 5.49 talks about SIMD instructions, add 8, sub 8, add 16, sub 16, ASX, SAX. So here you can see addition with 8, 8 bit saturations that is signed, signed addition. Signed saturating, signed half word add, unsigned uh, 8 bit addition, unsigned uh, add with 8 bit, unsigned half word add with 8 bit. Similarly, subtracting, signed subtraction, uh, Q signed subtraction, and uh, so here you are enabling the Q bit for whenever there is a saturation occurs. Here unsigned Q add 8 bit, add 8 bit, add 16 bit, and 16 bit, something like this. 
so add 8 what do you mean by add 8 4 ap data are added together this is what sub ap means what 4 8 bit data are subtracted 2 16 bit data are added 2 16 bit data are subtracted something like that we need to understand so the descriptions of the base operations are given in the table see that is very clear right base operations for the same instructions add 8 means what add 4 pairs of 8 bit data there are 4 pairs of 8 bit data available in a single bit of bit registers so registers are not contained Four uh, data, four bytes. Register R1 contains four bytes. If four <coughs> bytes need to be added to convert four bytes, means those eight bytes available in the two, those eight bytes available in the two registers can be added simultaneously, and we will get four sums in one instruction. But in a conventional case. We have to execute this four times because of SIMB, the speed has enhanced four times. In 32 bit, if you perform 8 bit addition, one 32 bit addition is equal to four 8 bit addition. That is the simple way we can understand SIMB instructions as we see here. So, add 8 means add four pairs of 8 bit data. Four pairs of 8 bit data means the significant byte of R0 is added with least significant rate of R1 and the sum will be in some other register and correspondingly four different bytes can be added in SAMB instructions very interesting. Similarly sub bytes subtract four pairs of 8 bit data add 16 add two pairs of 16 bit data sub 16 means subtract two pairs of 16 bit data and ES6 is exchange half words of the second operand register then add top half words and subtract bottom half word. It's very interesting, right? SAX means exchange half words of the second operand register, then subtract top half words and add bottom half word. So the syntax of SAMD and saturating instructions are shown in the table 5.53. It's a big list, and um, here you can see S add sign add 8 bit destination register to source registers. Sign add 8 means here you can see the flags, four flags will set, and the, uh, you can see the content of RM four bytes. Four bytes is added with content of RN four bytes, and the sum will be in RD register, which is of 32 bit, something like this. Similarly, sign add 16 bit, sign subtraction 68 bit, sign subtraction 16 bit, and Signed, add, and subtract with exchange. Signed, subtract, and add with exchange. So add and subtract with exchange. Subtract and add with exchange. Then Q means flag will set by using the same 8 and 16 bit add and 8 and 16 bit subtraction. And um, add, subtract, then subtract, add, exchange. Something like that. Then half add 8. Half add uh, 16, signed halving 8, subtract, signed halving, subtract 16, and uh, signed halving, add and subtract with exchange, etc. And signed halving, subtract and add with exchange, etc. So unsigned add 8, unsigned add 16, and then subtract 8, unsigned subtract 16, and signed add and subtract with exchange. Two sacks, unsigned subtract and add with exchange. U, Q add, so unsigned saturating, add 8. Unsigned uh, saturating, add 16. Unsigned uh, saturating, subtraction 8. Unsigned saturating, subtraction 16. Unsigned saturating, uh, exchanging after add and subtract. It's very interesting, right? So signed, quad, signed half. Unsigned add and unsigned call, unsigned call subtract. Okay, so a lot of instructions are available to do on this. Still, it exists and uh, it goes on. Thank you very much.